Hey, I'm Christy, you're watching On With The Show, and today I'm with Obituary. We're at The Forge in Joliet, October 12th, 2019, and celebrating the 30th anniversary of Slowly We Rot. And today I'm with Ken Andrews yeah. and Fun. Terry Butler. Yeah. <laughs> Ken is a lead guitarist, and Terry plays bass. Yeah. So, um, the band started off as Executioner in 1984 and then became Obituary in 88. Terry, were you part of the, the scene in the Tampa area during uh, that time? Absolutely, yeah. Um, I've known the guys in Obituary before I joined for a long time. Mid 80s, 84, 85, I knew them. Yeah. Sabotage and Nazi Savage were a huge influence on us. We, yeah. That's kind of the only underground bands in the area at the time. We would go see them play and we would want to do what they were doing, you know, mm -hmm. so. So you were younger than them? Yeah, about four or five years younger than them, okay. maybe six years. But. Yeah. So everyone's pretty supportive of each other and... Yeah, I mean, you know, there was competition as, as always, but everyone got along, you know. Okay. Yeah. Ken, where are you from? Uh, I'm from Orlando. Oh, so you're from that area too? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, I was I was a thrash kid, you know, so I was always into uh, the Slayer and stuff like that. Okay. Metallica and, and all that. And uh, I met I met these guys probably in the mid to late 90s, I think it's because I was in a band in Orlando and, and uh, I think we did a couple gigs with them, you know. Okay. So we just became friends, you know. I used to go see him play. When yeah. I, when I was in death, we'd go in, check his band out. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we were just talking about it the other day, I was watching through some old videos of some show that we played when I was a kid. And, camera pans over and it, it's he's hanging out at the bar you know it's like wow you know so we thought that was cool we got a kick out of that but so you guys have been through chicago a few times um i know today you're just kind of passing through it's like a really fast back-to-back -back, uh yeah. tour yeah but what are some of your favorite things about the chicagoland area uh it's i like the <clears throat> metro i like playing the that area right there is pretty cool. You can always guarantee it's going to be a great show. Yeah. Mm -hmm. From day one back in the mid 80s, Chicago has always been great for death metal. You know, you, you know that's one thing you can always count on. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, great crowds, great food, great area. You know, yeah. definitely. Yeah, the fans are definitely oh, yeah. very passionate. Absolutely. Yeah. So Bal Balash. 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 Group. Yeah. Group. So he did those animated videos, which yeah. we love. Yeah. Yes. Um, the violence video. Violence! It speaks to me now! Violence, it breathes to the night! Violence! Yep. And the 10,000 Ways to Die, and some of the promo videos too. So, how did that come about? He was uh, a friend since, I mean, a fan yeah. since what, 92 or something? I think he, his parents told him he couldn't go to the show and he'd, and he'd run away from home <laughs> yeah. or something you know, when wow. he was a kid, so yeah. he's always been a fan. He, he contacted us and said, hey, I'd love to do a video for you. And he sent us like a 15 or 20 second clip of something he's done. And we we're like, that's great, you know. So we kind of gave him a storyboard and told him to do a little snippet and see what it would look like. And it was, it was great. Awesome. I mean, so came I know out. it's, you know, making cartoon videos for death metal, people probably frown upon, but. Yeah, you get one or two. We don't comments, care. So, yeah. <laughs> ah. I mean, you know, we enjoy life. We're funny dudes and we like to have a laugh and yeah and what's why great, not and what's great about Bellage is he lets us you know put come up with anything we want yeah. and you know like the scooby-doo looking van and all that and just yeah. little things just, here and there man. just good fun you know to, to give the fans something to look at so the scene where you guys got pulled over by the cop and then yeah the <laughs> autograph and he lets you go did that happen in real life uh no <laughs> <laughs> You know what? You know what is weird though. We were in. Uh, I was because I was a crew guy for these guys. I was a guitar tech for I mean, uh, two thousands, and uh, we got pulled over in Poland or something like that. And the the cops knew who they were, and I mean, it was it was great. So yeah. that that did actually happen. It's just that wow. yeah, it's just yeah, a we were in the band, yeah, yeah, different lineup. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, you know. <laughs> Have the fans been responding well to the videos? The animated uh, videos? Absolutely. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. yeah. It's yes. so different. I've been really well, that's why we love it, because, yeah. I mean, we've all done the go in the woods and have some fog at night videos, <laughs> or on the stage yeah. playing, or try and be scary and evil and all that. So we're like, hey, let's just kind of go the other way and put out a couple feel-good cartoons, you know, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. So the Slayer tour, you guys were on the farewell 
tour in Europe. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How was that? It was like a dream come true. Yeah. I was playing in front of so many people and hearing our favorite songs every night, you know, from them. And, and uh, it was yeah. just a once in a lifetime. Was so. it emotional? Well, yeah. Knowing it would so be it their last bucket, time? It's a bucket list thing, you know. Yeah. Ever since I was, you know, in high school, it's like, oh, it'd be amazing to play with Slayer, you know. And then right, it right. took 40 years or whatever, but it <laughs> came true, you know. Yeah, and it was wow. great. I mean, we got to see Slayer perform 27 nights in her, you know, so. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Yeah. yeah. What were some of the biggest crowds you had out there? <laughs> Munich was uh, 18,000. Yeah. Wow. It was consistent between twelve to eighteen thousand, pretty much every night. Do you feel nervous when it's that big? No, I That's don't. Good. Myself, yeah. I never get nervous. Never have. Do you feel I more think. excited when it's a bigger crowd? Oh yeah, you have more energy, yeah. more adrenaline. But it, it's never like a bad feeling, like oh my god, I'm going to mess up. I have enough whatever. of those for all of us. I don't know why <laughs> they call me nervous now. Like, I'm not, yeah, just, you know, yeah, yeah. Coming in here, I was nervous. <laughs> yeah, you, saw, you saw the cameras and was like, oh my god. Yeah. Uh, so what's up next for Obituary? Um, after this tour, we're going to do a short tour on the East Coast, I think, yeah. like 10 dates. Then we're going to go to we go to Japan, Australia, New Zealand tour coming up in January. We're so, really stoked about that. Uh, it's always great to play over there. We've never played New Zealand, so yeah. that's going to be great. Um, we got a tour set up in March, I think, for Europe. Can't reveal who yet. Yeah, yeah. working on it. Yeah, it's going to be exciting, though. Uh, and then, South America, right? Yeah, South America, and then we're going to do festivals in Europe next year. So Great. summer, yeah. It's, it'll be pretty busy for the next 10 months. Okay. Pretty much, yeah. Is there a new album in the works? There will be. I mean, there's yeah. it's being talked about, and there is a few riffs kicking around, but we just got to... It's one of those things where you just got to go in the studio and do it, you know? Yeah. yeah. You got to make yourself, okay, we're going we're gonna to start rehearsing for this. You know? mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, the new single, uh, Dying World, that yeah. that's, uh, gives you a little taste of, you know, what's to come. Yeah. So. Great. Yeah. Well, thank you for watching. I'm Christy. This is Ken and Terry. This is On With The Show. Be sure to check out Obituary at obituary.cc.